Um, welcome to your reading, Aquarius. Let's hop into it. What's the overall energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the overall romantic? Okay. Yes. Connection. Okay. I love it. What is the current situation with Aquarius and their person of interest romantically? Their partner or their person of interest romantically? Perspective. Beautiful card. And what is currently blocking this situation with Aquarius and this person? What's currently blocking this situation between Aquarius and their person? Forgiveness. What are some unknown influences that Aquarius doesn't know about? What, what's an unknown influence that Aquarius doesn't know about when it comes to this, this, this person in the situation? Grounding. Okay, and let's get your outcome. It's best potential outcome here for Aquarius. And this person, what's the best potential outcome for Aquarius and their person of interest? Woo! Yes! Look at this, Aquarius. I'll take it. Abundance? <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. She has a whole tr treasure chest. She has jewels. She's under the sea. She's looking fly. She's doing her own thing. I am so here for it. Abundance. It's about goddamn time. Okay. Here's what I'm getting, though. There is something here that you're waiting for. There, there is an absolute connection with this person, 100%, but I feel like you're waiting for something in the meantime. And I also feel like there is a level of solitude. Like I think for you guys, and maybe this is just you, it's spending time by yourself um, and really trying to figure out what the truth is. Do you love this person? Do you not? Is this person going to continue to lie to you? Um, there's just a lot of different things, but I do feel like you taking some time for yourself, it's important because there's a lot of grounding that needs to be done. If your person is off balance, which this tells me as an un unknown influence, like they're off. There's something here that's off here, Aquarius, with them. For some of you guys, it may be some type of substance, like maybe this person is drinking a lot or doing drugs or something like that. It's like they need to be brought back down to earth. That, that's how I feel. But I could, let's clarify, so, so I can be 100% positive. Okay. Aquarius messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. What do you want me to tell Aquarius about their connection with this person? What do you want me to tell Aquarius? Okay. Ten of Cups. This was reversed. Hold on. One more card. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed? Wow. That shot the fuck out. Okay. All right. So... This month, here, here's the thing. I feel like you know this person is thinking about you. You know that this person wants to talk to you. You know that this person is in kind of a weird place, I feel like. Like, what, like what's Aquarius's person of interest? What, what's their overall energy? What's their energy? Where's Aquarius? Okay. Here's what I think. I feel like there's a level of illusion that once was, and I feel like that's no more. I also feel like too, with this eight of swords here, there's something here where there was a level of isolation, right? There's something that changed, but whatever is changing, it's like you're becoming more connected. Because to me, sometimes like the Ten of uh, Cups to me, which is Mars and Pisces, and this is Jupiter and Gemini, it's like, there, it's illusion, right? It's kind of a lot of lust. It's like puppy dog love. It's, it's that kind of thing. So I feel like there was some type of illusion here, and there wasn't a lot of action that was being taken, and because of that, it put somebody in their head. 
How does Aquarius feel about this? Blocked. Moon and Libra. You know, it's like, there is a duality here, right? There is a decision that has to be made in order to remove this. And I feel like it has to do with love and romance. It has to do with, are we going to be a family? Can I trust you? Um, it's also like, are things ever going to not be chaotic? I feel like you're going through these things and you're asking yourself, is this person unwilling to change? Like, is everything that they told me, is it all lies? But there's something here about the connection. What do you want me to tell them about their connection? Because I do want to ask that. Queen of Pentacles. How would, um, that's Capricorn energy or Cancer energy. How would Aquarius feel about this? I think that this month, um, Aquarius, you're, you're starting to connect the dots. I think that you've made a connection here with what your person has been doing. And I don't think that you like it. I feel like for some of you guys, somebody was in another relationship. Why is the current situation perspective? Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. There's a lot of conflict here. And the problem is, is you and this person just don't see eye to eye. I feel like you both look at things very differently. I think that you handle things differently. I feel like for you, Aquarius, it's like you're always telling this person, like, you can't do that. Or this person is always telling you. It's, it's, it's like it's always a constant struggle. It's always a constant battle. Then this person goes into hiding. And it's like, for you, it's like, stop acting like you're two. Like, we're adults. Let's handle this as such. And I feel like you're just waiting for this person to really want to work on your relationship. But at the same point in time, it's like you're also waiting for this person to transform and they're not. Okay. Your block is forgiveness. What, what needs to be forgiven? Three of Swords. Whatever pain. You need to let it go. It's like you're you're harboring that pain. You're going through a lot right now, Aquarius, and I feel like I can feel it. Like it hurts. And you're you're just in a place where it's like because there wasn't a lot of action that was being taken. And because there's these constant blocks, it's like now you're in a place where it's like, okay. Like here we go. I think it hurt. I do think that there's a level of pain, but it's because a decision was not made beforehand. Like, I think you knew that you had to pull the trigger on something, whether it's addressing an issue, whether it's saying, hey, mofo, I know exactly what you're doing, okay? Like, let me let you know. I already know what the hell's going on here, and I don't like it. Quit it. It's like, you didn't say that, and now, or you, there was a situation that was not addressed, and now it's like, the block is, is you have to let it go. Because you were looking for the perfect time to say something and it just didn't come. Unknown influences, we have grounding. Why is grounding here? With the lovers and the magician. Okay. So just so you know, Aquarius, we have Scorpio, Mars here. We have Taurus, uh, Mercury and Taurus. We have Virgo. Um, we also have Libra, Gemini, Scorpio. Um, Aries or Virgo, and then Gemini is here. How would Scorpio feel? Or not Scorpio. How, how would Aquarius feel about this? How would Aquarius feel about this? Blocked. Why? Because moving too slow. Person's not giving you what you want. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Gemini. So it's interesting because you have grounding and grounding is what you don't see, right? That that's, that's something that is going on around you and 
It's unknown. For some of you guys, I feel like the external influence is that there is a block here. And I feel like sometimes it's like you can't see through that the fog. It's also too about being protected or recharged and stability. So here's what I think. I feel like what you don't know is that your spirit guides are grounding you for a reason, okay? They're grounding you because there is a lot of love coming in, but it's really about you manifesting it. Something here is being manifested, and that's what's key. What's being manifested? What's being manifested? Look, the, or the Nine of Cups. Pisces. Jupiter and Pisces. You have somebody coming in, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Leo, Jupiter and Leo. This is somebody that's very confident, but in order for you to receive that, you have to ground your energy first. That's key. Some of you may already be talking to this person, um, but I do feel like grounding is necessary. I think that taking a level of leadership here, focusing on what's what needs to what's best for you. Nine of Cups to me, that's fulfillment emotionally. However, it's, it's a very self thing, right? This is about me. It fulfills you, right? It fulfills whoever, right? It, it's, it's what makes you happy. However, I want to say this, what you don't see here is when you walk away from this situation, because some of you are, or some of you are just going to be like, fuck it. But there's something here where you're doing the hard thing. You know what I mean? Like, that moving on is going to provide you that emotional fulfillment because there's somebody coming in here that's fantastic. Okay. Your outcome is abundance. So who the heck is this? What's going on? There's obviously a lot of good coming. So if you want to know more about this, um, as well as everything I mentioned earlier about Vimeo, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section and it will take you straight to the extended. With that being said... I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Peace.